his chief desire was to put the capital, the seat of governance as it was known, seat of government as it was known, on the, uh, <clears throat> on the banks of the Potomac. And uh, Washington was given that task of citing it in a 100 mile swath of the Potomac and he actually was given up to, as the Constitution says, to create a dist federal district up to 10 miles square. He created a diamond district, if you will, diamond-shaped district, and you can see the tops of the diamond uh, uh, going uh, up to Maryland as they do, as I'm sure you're all familiar, but they went down across the Potomac to Alexandria. And that's, I think, an important uh, thing to consider. He was taking in both sides of the Potomac. But in the Residence Act, which allowed uh, the president, directed the president, really, to place the seat of government on the Potomac, it, and uh, that, all that, it gave him not one penny to carry out the job. So it was a, tip, it was a rather a, a, a trend setting of the, of the Congress at the time uh, to uh, vote for something and yet not uh, give it any money. Uh, and he also, so he, Washington had to contend with that, and we'll talk a little bit briefly about that. But he also really had to contend with Thomas Jefferson on the one hand, who had a vision of the city which was very different. In fact, it wasn't a city at all, it was a federal town. And this is it right here, this is Rock Creek coming in here. Uh, you see uh, the uh, uh, town. It was to be about 15 acres, uh, 1,500 acres, excuse me. 1,200 will be divided into quarter acre lots, and the remaining 300 acres would do just fine for public buildings. Uh, Jefferson's capital would take in about 20 good dwelling houses uh, for those who belong to the government and about as many lodging houses and a half dozen taverns, which I'm not sure was enough for the time. Uh, then it, uh, Washington didn't think that way and we have to remember that. Washington invited, uh, invited uh, uh, L'Enfant to come up with a plan. And the plan that he came up with, and this is, by the way, the altered plan done by uh, Ellicott, Andrew Ellicott, was for a city of about 750,000 people. At the time, the largest city in the United States was 40,000 people in um, in um, 1790. Ellicott's plan, which you see before you, is adapted from L'Enfant's. L'Enfant used the words like empire, American empire. He used the words like wealth. And he used the word en grande. And that was important too. He thought not of the United States as it was, but as the United States would be and could be. And Jefferson had designed a town, L'Enfant designed a city. And Washington, of course, went with L'Enfant. 